here's another caveat to this. Do not take offense to anything that I'm going to tell you today. You're shaking like a dog crapping tax right now, right? Right. So, but I mean, think about, you get more muscle tension now when these people are watching you. On a critter, are you less or more in tension? You personally, because everybody's going to be different. So you tell me, because you've killed a lot of stuff with your bows, so. Situational dependent. Okay. Some stuff, it's just, it's automatic. Okay. Some stuff. Depends. Like if you get to watch a bull come in for a ways, does it make you more or less nervous? I'm definitely less nervous when I see an animal, but quick opportunities, it's like, oh. Right. Okay. Right. There's a big difference between those two different situations. Yeah. Give me another shot here, bro. And try to get close to the middle of that, for God's <laughs> sake. Don't embarrass yourself. Okay. Next! Oh, you don't get to shoot again, bro. I've seen enough. I've seen enough. <laughs> Mark, How'd you do, Mark? No, it didn't feel very good. Why not? I don't know. It felt punchy. It felt was. Like <laughs> Next! Anything you want to say to John Dudley right now? He's listening. No. I could call him. Nick, why did you buy that release? <clears throat> wanted to practice pulling through my shot more than the wrist did. Okay, yeah. so did you start off with the index finger trigger? Yeah. And then did you get kind of punchy with that or what? Yeah. And so you bought that? Yeah. So now you're getting punchy with that. Right. Well, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Buy more releases? No. Yeah. We're going to fix your head so you can shoot anything you want. Right. Show us all how slow you can go on this trigger. Same speed. Pull back, side it in, let her fly. Okay. Pull back, side it in, let her fly. Yep. Okie dokie, let's there see this action. Middle? Yeah. <clears throat> Woo! Next! That's a lot of head movement, Reese. What you doing in there? Come on, buddy. Ah. Oh. Worse than the first one. <laughs> right? Felt it. Difference in what you were thinking in those two shots from the first to the second. Was it different mentally or not? Um, mentally, no. I was a little shakier. Second one. Pin wise? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep. So what made you shoot that shot? Um, I felt like that's as good as it was gonna get. Time. As far as aiming wise? Yeah. Okay. But nobody like made you shoot it. No. Okay. The subconscious gremlin made you shoot yeah. it. Okay. Next! Do your job. So do you guys see how Travis is fighting the sight, right? He's coming in from the bottom. And correct me if I'm wrong, bro. It's coming in from the bottom and it gets her, uh, and then it falls off. Uh, uh, and then it falls off. And then there's a final jump and punch, right? Yeah. That is not the way to kill bulls, fellas. <laughs> I've been, I used to do that. I used to have to aim five, six feet over the top of a bull and then just dump my bow in and pull the trigger, right? It's a nightmare waiting to happen. It's not the way to kill bulls. So we're gonna completely change what you guys are thinking. Who's next? What's your plan here, my man? Draw back. Uh-huh. Find the uh, yeah. aim point, okay. or anchor point. Okay. Burn a hole in the target and squeeze the trigger. You're gonna burn a hole in the target for what purpose? Make sure that I'm staying steady. Does that, you burning a hole in the target make sure that you are steady? No. So where did you hear the burn the hole in the target theory? This is just something I've tried to, uh, picked up when I started okay. shooting. Okay, because in the traditional archery world, it's a big deal, right? You're supposed to burn a hole in the target and let some mystical forces shoot the shot for you. Doesn't work out usually. Let's go, my man. Which target? Ah, uh, why don't you burn a hole in the upper right? <laughs> Ooh, give me another one. That was so cool to watch. Now! Oh. Good job, buddy. There you go. Who's next? Who's next? So you're shooting a hinge, huh? Yes, sir. So why do we? Why are we shooting a hinge? You personally, why are you shooting that really? Uh, to use more back tension than uh, finger to 
release the shot. Okay, so understand that's a hinge, so hinges are not actually shot with back tension. Okay. But people call it a back tension release, right? A hinge is not a back tension release. There is no professional archer that I know of that shoots a hinge with back tension. It's not the most accurate way of shooting Can a hinge. Can see what that looks like? Like a spring yeah. tension you're talking about, Rigel? You're oh, saying a spring yeah. tension is tension, true. Tension activated is a back tension release. Yep. This is a hinge. But you can shoot it with back tension, but ultimately what gets the release to go off is the rotation of the release. Does right. it have a click in it? Yes. Okie dokie. So mm -hmm. what does the click mean to you? Uh, it's almost there. Okay, so then what? Uh, so basically I rotate it with my hand until mm -hmm. it clicks, mm -hmm. and then I know that it's there, and then I start using more back tension. my back okay. to finish the shot. Cool, let's do it. <clears throat> Which one do you want me to hit? Uh, let's go upper right. How was the back tension on that one? Not so good. Okay. So you went to a hinge release because you started punching an index finger trigger, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Ish. Ish. So give me some ish. So um, I had the ability to punch it or squeeze it off mm -hmm. um, but I can tell when I'm trying to rip it off with this more than I can with the index okay do you find yourself more accurate with that release I find myself more consistent like um, I'll have with a index I can get a smaller group sometimes but then sometimes I'll have a flyer okay with this it's a bigger generally bigger group mm -hmm. but they're all in the group. Okay. I gotta film this one just for documentation. <laughs> just <laughs> uh. because what he's saying is one thing, and what he's actually doing is completely a different thing. Just so you know. Perfect. Okay. Go ahead, buddy. Love it love it so you are to the point in your mind where so so what he said is that he moves the release to the click with a hand roll right which is how most people will continue to shoot the hinge with the hand roll it's the most accurate way of shooting a hinge but then he says after the click he uses back tension to make the shot go off right so that, that's what that's, we're trying to that's do that's the idea yes right so what we see in the video however is he draws back and he, you get on the target, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then he rolls that to the click. But because that does not equal the explosion, it's easy for you to get to the click, right? Mm -hmm. Then after the click is this big blank space. And what happens is you're actually rolling the release the other way. Mm -hmm. So you go, you get to your click, and then you go, er, you go the other way. The top of the release goes that way. It needs to go that way, mm -hmm. right? So it gets going this way, and then you punch the hinge. So we're gonna talk about open and closed loop control systems and why that is and all those things. So we're gonna change how you shoot that completely. Cool. It'll be very similar to what you're doing, but it'll be actually in control. Right. And then you won't have flyers and it'll be very consistent. You'll know exactly how to do it in high stress shooting. Cool? Cool. Okie dokie. Who's up? Shaky, shaky. Big bull's coming in. I'm gonna bugle in your ear, make it like real stuff. Very good. Jameson, or BJ, you told me that you were not practicing your own failure. However, you just did. Okay. Is that how you were working the trigger out here? Mm-hmm. Give me another one. Okay. I felt maybe I punched it. You felt maybe you punched it. No, I, can, I did. I can it. confirm that. I did you, punch yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I felt it. I was on it okay. and it came off of it. Okay, so let's not do that again. Okay. Oh my gosh. So how was the sight picture on that one? Because that, that shot was way faster. Yeah. Okay, so how was the sight picture? Um, when I punched off, I was left. Did you feel rushed on that shot? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did Somebody control. rushing you around here? No, myself. No, just you, right? Yeah. Your subconscious wants you to be more efficient. Mm. 
Right? It doesn't want you to be accurate. It wants you to be efficient. It doesn't yeah. care about accuracy. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's pushing all of us toward efficiency, right? That's why people come up here and just shoot a shot. Yeah. If you do that, you are practicing your own failure. And that is not what this camp is about. Mm -hmm. Okie doke. Who's up? Who's up? Oh my gosh. Cool bow, man. Yeah. Christmas present for me. Yeah? Wife. So it's a Christmas present from your wife. Yeah. So, so your wife wants you to do good, right? She <laughs> bought you this really cool bow. I think she don't, just got suckered by a salesman. Don't, don't piss her off by punching that trigger, right? Because we got, I mean, we could call her up and say, watch, watch what JC's doing with your Christmas present here. He's yeah. practicing his own failure. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Whoo, man, you can pull that thing like a champ. Look at that. Knife hand. Oh my gosh. Give me another one. What's your, we need your wife's phone number. She's gonna watch this on video and say, that's what my harder money went to? Oh my gosh. Now, go! Oh. Did that make you more controlled or less controlled? The yelling? Yeah. Uh, it kind of scared me at first. But <laughs> scared you at first, but then what happened? I just took a deep <laughs> breath. So, I'm trying to mess with him, right? Because you saw the first shot was much faster than the second shot. So when I interrupt his mental program, the skill is not in shooting that arrow. It's not in hitting that target. It's not in shooting that arrow. The skill that J JC, right? Yes. The skill that JC just did is he practiced bringing himself back into the shot. Even though I'm messing with you, so we gotta realize what are the true skills of shot control, right? That is a major part of it right there. Good job, sir, but you still punch the crap out of the trigger. <laughs> Next. <laughs> So you bring your pin up from below, right? Yeah. Why? I have no idea. Okay, is that what you've always done? Yeah. Okay, so how many of you have slow traveled a target from a direction that you can tell me right now? Most of you? I see head nod and I see hands up. Most of you have a direction that your pin travels up into the target. Even the stick bow guys, do you have a direction that the arrow comes from? I don't think I do. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to probably drop him from the top. Okay. Awesome. Before Thanks, buddy. Thanks for your answer. <laughs> Come on up. Shoot one? Yeah. All right. Are you the last one to shoot? Everybody else to shot? Everyone shoot. So how was that? How was that trigger work for you there? Uh, it felt good. It did for me. Okay, <laughs> make it slower. Okay, show me how slow you can go. I'm gonna be on the trigger with you. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> I didn't do that. No. <laughs> that was awesome. I was just along for the ride, and that yeah. was quite a ride there, pal. Yeah. So, I went slow very for a long specifically, time, Sam. What, <laughs> what was going through your head on that one? The first one wasn't too bad, but I knew there was well, a chink was, in your armor. I was. Uh, what I was thinking was, pull, 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 pull. <laughs> and then pull. what happened? It didn't go off, so I made it go off. It didn't go off. So what specifically, what thought specifically came into your head? Was it, why isn't this going off? Yeah. This is weird. This guy's touching my finger. Whatever. No, it was, it was, it's not going off. It should be going off. This should be going off. Right. And so, so finally I just made it go so off. So we got to listen very yeah. specifically to Sam's answer on that because it's going to play a big part in our instruction today. So he's 
walking himself through a shot and it didn't go off when he wanted it to. So the, your mind left it. Yes, it did. And as soon as it left it, you punched the crap out of that I one. You did. actually collapsed and punched it all at the same time. Bunch, a whole bunch of linked motor programs. It's hard to do. Yeah, yeah, that was <laughs> impressive, bro. Did everybody shoot? Okay, grab a seat, folks.